UNM is always hard pressed for cash, so an extra hundred grand a year would be very welcome. That's how much the university is forced to spend to clean up the mess that vandals make on campus. News 13's Lise Mitri is live at the university to explain. Lise? Dick, campus doesn't look so bad now, but that's because the university puts $100,000 each year towards getting rid of that graffiti, something most students here don't even realize. It's pretty shocking, and it's kind of sad that the university has to spend that much money on graffiti cleanup when it could be used to doing something else. I think probably more productive. I think it's a good idea if they notice it, because I personally don't like it. I don't like seeing it, but so, or I guess they're doing That's a job because I don't see it. That's because the university's grounds department is up as early as 430 each morning taking it off. This sculpture known as the center of the universe has become just that for the graffiti cleanup crew because it's tagged almost every day. If you look closely, you can still see markings left behind. Most resources are used to just clean up that sculpture each day. Resources the university says could be put to better use if people would respect the art. $100,000 a year can go a long ways toward uh, beautification projects, replacing uh, benches and trash can receptacles and those kind of things that we'd prefer to do. UNM says the good news is most of the graffiti they're seeing is not gang related. Instead, he says they're seeing a lot of political messages. Dick, back to you. All right, Lizay, it's not just graffiti. Keyed doors and glass are also common on campus. The university does make it a point to fix all campus vandalism, whatever its nature, within 24 hours.